Hello YouTube. I have a number of videos about very strange experiences that Soviet, Russian and Ukrainian cosmonauts have reported one way or another while they were in orbit. Also visions that they had. Please see my playlists about space exploration and cosmonauts. Well, China has its own space program and on occasions we find out strange experiences its astronauts or taikonauts comment on. One such case has baffled me for years. People's Republic of China, first astronaut, was spooked by a mysterious knocking or banging noise that he heard while in orbit in space. Chinese astronaut Yang Li Wei made that revelation during an interview uh, when he talked about his uh, experiences um, of the 21-hour space mission aboard Shenzhen 5 in 2003. Yang Li Wei said that he heard a mysterious knock during his flight in space, according to China Central Television reports, and I'll provide more details. Yang was born in June 1965 in northeastern Liaoning province and was China's first astronaut and later major general. So he became the first man sent into space by Chinese space program and the 241st human to visit outer space. Yang, a fighter jet pilot, was uh, a lieutenant colonel at the time that he traveled uh, to space, but later he did rise to the rank of a major general. And his space flight in 2003, in October of that year, made China the third country in the world to have sent a human astronaut to space after the United States and the Soviet Union, later Russia. So on October 16, 2003, he stepped out of his re-entry module after spending 21 hours, 22 minutes, and 45 seconds in space. When he recalled his experience in space during the interview, he said that a non-causal situation I have met in space is a knock that appeared from time to time. He explained to the Chinese people's daily online that the sound suddenly appeared without any rhyme or reason. It neither came from outside nor inside the spaceship, but sounded like someone is knocking the body of the spaceship, just as knocking an iron bucket with a wooden hammer. That's what the Chinese taikonaut said. Yang was very nervous when he heard the sound and moved close to the porthole to try to find out the cause. However, nothing of the ordinary appeared both inside and outside. When Yang returned to Earth, he reported the mysterious noise to engineers and technicians. He tried unsuccessfully to mimic or simulate it uh, for the benefit of those engineers. Despite being provided with a variety of objects and instruments, he was unable to reproduce the noise. But Yang said that he had never heard the exact sound again. Strangely, other Chinese Taikonauts, who later traveled to space aboard Shenzhen 6 and 7, reported hearing similar mysterious noises. They were also unable to determine the source or cause of the persistent loud knocking they heard during spaceflight. And Yang said that before entering space, he told them that the sound is a normal phenomenon, so there is no need to worry. So, more than a decade after the incident, the investigators still had no clue what caused this strange loud banging or knocking that Yang and other astronauts compared to the sound of a wooden hammer hitting the iron bucket. Now, paranormal researchers have tried unconvincingly, that's according to official media, to link the noise to aliens and UFOs in space. But the Chinese engineers believe that the noise might have been due to craft engineering issues. But it took them a decade and they didn't know what the cause was, what was the source. But the revelation, you know, the revelation about this uh, uh, incident 
came after the Chinese space research and exploration program made very major advances, if you look at the history of China in space. In 2016, the Chinese came up with an explanation. So the mysterious banging noise on the surface of the spacecraft that baffled Chinese astronaut turned out not to be aliens, but the result of air pressure changes. Um, young Li Wei, China's first astronaut, aroused public attention when he revealed in a television interview in late November of 2016 that he heard the uh, that unexplained sound, and I already described what, what he heard. From outside, he capsule during the maiden mission in 2003, and that left him puzzled. But in late November, when the f famous astronaut attended an event at a school in the eastern city of Ningbo in Zhejiang province, uh, the question of the mysterious noise was raised by students. And Yang said that according to what he learned, and I stress this, the knocking sound was a result of decreasing air pressure that caused changes in the structure of the spacecraft as it left Earth for space. So he learned it somewhere. Somebody probably made him learn that. He said that air leaking out of the objects in the capsule could also cause noise. I think it's normal, Yang said. It's necessarily to carefully identify the cause. So somebody made sure he understands it's normal and there is an explanation for it. For many years, they could not, but now they could. Yang's explanation echoed with space scientist Li, Liu Hong, who wrote an article for the popular Chinese science website, gokar.com, saying that she believes the sound came from tiny deformations in the space capsule's inner wall materials due to changes in pressure. Liu is the chief designer of Lunar Palace One, a facility for conducting bio regenerative life support systems experiments key to setting up a lunar base. She said during a 105-day manned air tight test, researchers in the capsule also heard this strange noise. They thought that someone was knocking outside, but no one was found, Liu wrote. They got agitated at first, but later calmed down to look for the source of the noise. Researchers finally realized the change of capsule temperature would cause a change in air pressure and the difference in pressure between the inner and outer walls of the capsule caused tiny deformations of the wall materials, producing the sound dong, dong, dong. We may encounter all sorts of unexplained phenomena as we explore the unknown, but we should always seek a scientific explanation. That is what drives up forward, Liu said. So, in my opinion, someone convinced Taiko Nat Yang that what he heard was quite normal. This is no different than what the Soviet cosmonauts went through, and I'm sure the American ones too. But sometimes they really start talking about the strangers of strangeness of outer space and the weird phenomena in the in orbit. So I, I really hope that more, more of them do. Please compare it with the experiences of the Russian cosmonauts. It's very interesting. So you can find, like I said, it all in my channel. And if you like my support, please, uh, if you like my, my videos, please support uh, me through the links you will find in the description uh, to this channel. And uh, stay tuned for more interesting uh, news and reports about strangeness in outer space. I appreciate your attention to my work. Please tell others about my channel too. Please like my videos.